my channel and today's video I hope you're doing well and healthy so today's video is my top 10 most complimented perfumes and I'm so excited about today's video you guys because it's my first collab video and it's with one of my dearest friends here on YouTube Anna Absolute um, she's the most fun person to watch if you're not watching her you're really missing a lot of fun um i'm gonna link her channel down in the description box so you can check it out um she has a great personality uh, she's so kind-hearted uh, so beautiful inside and out and she's so friendly so um i'm really so thankful to have her uh, as a friend and do this collab with her today and i can't wait to see her choices yeah um, um so now uh today's video as i said is about my most complimented perfumes and um all today's picks are uh, has very uh great great sillage and very long lasting also um except one <laughs> so yeah um if you're ready to see my most complimented perfumes so let's get started so now in number 10 spot, um, I have that fragrance that I said it doesn't last. It doesn't have a great longevity, unfortunately. Uh, and that's why it's uh, in my number 10 spot. Um, but um, if this fragrance uh, would have a, a good longevity, this would be maybe number, you know, number one favorite, you know, along with Alien. Uh, so I'm talking about uh, this perfume, uh, it's called um, Lacoste Parfum uh, or Parfum by Lacoste. Um, as you see, the bottle is almost empty and you guys, I've finished lots and lots of bottles of this perfume. I've been wearing this perfume for years and years. Uh, it's so amazing. Um, it's um, it has very unique notes of uh, suede, it has heliotrope, violet, um, it has some woods also, it has a freesia flower which smells here very powdery. You, okay, uh, this is so um, clean but uh, sensual at the same time and this is what makes it very unique actually. And you guys, this is a compliment magnet, okay? This is will get you uh, many and uh, many compliments, but it doesn't have a uh, great sillage. Uh, just people are, uh, close to you are uh, going to uh, smell this perfume. But this grabbed me tons and tons of compliments uh, over the years. Um, yeah, um, and I stopped um, to ask about what I'm wearing a lot when I wore this. Like, um, people were stopping me to ask me, what are you wearing? Because it's so unique and it's so elegant and it doesn't smell generic to me, actually. Like, this is a um, very unique scent, but as I said, the only downside is um, it doesn't last so long. This lasts on me only maybe three hours and I have to reapply it um, every three hours or so yeah but um that's okay because uh now this perfume is available on the discounted websites it's not expensive um this is the 90 ml i think yes a 90 ml bottle and you can find it with only 30 dollars so that's why i recommend it even though it's not long last i mean checking out this one uh, lacoste parfum nine spot i have a fragrance that i'm on my second bottle of it because it smells so amazing um i'm talking about uh, kenzo uh, amour um i love this perfume you guys um it's a very crowd blazer uh, fragrance because um people love uh, smelling of vanillas and this one of the most um comfy warm and delicious and so sensual uh, vanilla i've tried um as i said this is my second bottle because uh, to me it's a timeless fragrance um, and it will be in my collection forever oh my goodness you guys 
um if you love um hypnotic poison by dior uh you would love this one so much also um they uh share same vibes um the difference between them that hypnotic poison um is heavy on almond um but this one is more powdery um i would say they are a little bit similar to each other but to be honest i prefer this one more because i love powdery scents uh, and this one more powdery uh it has notes of vanilla of course um rice uh, heliotrope uh, it has some woods also i think so i always describe this scent as a, a beautiful hug from your beautiful mom uh, i don't know why when i wear this or when i smell it um I remember uh, my mom's hugs I don't know love to smell it uh, and this was um, in number nine spot so now in number eight spot I have a, an oriental floral fragrance that smells you guys so smells so um, you know confident and daring and very very sophisticated uh, I'm talking about uh, Tom Ford um, Noir for fun as you see um this fragrance um if you love those uh you know a very oriental uh, mysterious uh dark you know those type of scents um it reminds me of a uh, dior attic in the very dry down uh, it actually smells a little bit similar to dior addict uh, because it has almost like three or four notes um it has orange blossom, vanilla, uh, jasmine, uh, just like uh, Dior Attic. So if you love this fragrance, you would love this one so much also because uh, both of them smells smells like smoky vanilla. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's it's a very unique one. Uh, smells um, woody. Uh, and a little bit innocency, you know. The opening of this perfume uh, smells uh, spicy and fresh from the ginger and from the uh, orange blossom and some citruses. And then the heart of this fragrance smells so creamy from the flowers. I think it has rose and jasmine also. Uh, and then uh, the dry down, this when the all the magic happens. Uh, because uh, the amber in here smells very sensual and very delicious with that coffee note uh, which smells like um, a vanilla ice cream to my nose so the dry down smells so uh, sensual so delicious amazing um, yeah uh, very compliments girl this fragrance because it's actually that unique um, so yeah um, this was my number eight spot and noir for femme by tom ford so now in number seven spot i have a fragrance that i just got it uh i think in last january um and easily became one of my most compliment getters uh in just five months um it's an oriental uh, floral fragrance also uh, and i'm talking about um Roses Musk by Montal uh, As you see you guys, I love the bottle so much. I love the color of the bottle, the, all the gold details um, on it um, It's a very beautiful and classy bottle um, So this fragrance, uh, it has only three notes It has musk, rose and jasmine, but I don't get any jasmine in this fragrance um i can easily uh, smell only um like oriental roses and musk this is all i smell in this perfume um if you can imagine a dark pink uh, rose just like this color uh, and this rose is thick and velvety this is exactly how this rose smells like um oh my goodness you guys this smells so expensive oh my goodness and it's so unique and so oriental um if you can imagine a floral and rosy garden in the middle east um 
you know this is exactly smells like this smells very rosy but in a very uh, rich and expensive way all year around great compliments getter and you guys if you love musk and rose uh, this is a must have in your collection so again a number seven spot uh, roses mask by Montal. So in number six spot, I have a masterpiece from the Lancome house. You guys, uh, I believe that Lancome house um, knows how to do a classy, mass appealing fragrances. Um, and this one uh, is one of their best creations. Uh, I'm talking about Chizor uh, of Midnight Rose. You guys this fragrance um if i would describe it in only three words i would say um this is seductive this is um feminine and this is so romantic okay seductive feminine and so romantic yeah uh this is the best um combination ever of um roses and raspberries with some uh, peony flower in it also it smells so powdery it smells so sweet but it's not cloying or you know overpowering um it's just the perfect amount of raspberries vanilla and um and red roses um this fragrance you guys um for some strange reason um everybody loves it i don't know what it's about but everybody loves it uh, everybody loves uh, to smell it it has a great also longevity and silage a little bit heavy for summer so i always save it for you know uh fall uh winter and also sp spring um if you love floral with uh you know a sweet you know touch um with it um this is a very very beautiful um fragrance and as i said it's one of the best uh, fragrances that uh lancome created uh, in my opinion this is you know smells are very mass appealing and just everybody loves it so yeah uh, this was uh, tree door midnight rose by lancome okay so we're now in my top five uh, so a number five spot i have a fragrance that i really really adore it because it's so amazing you guys it smells so delicious and so unique and elegant uh, i'm talking about armani code cashmere as you see um i haven't tried uh, armani code satin um so um i can't compare them together but you guys this smells so amazing uh it has great great notes mixed together very beautifully and created that uh, sensual seductive warm and so unique oh my goodness i just can't get enough of this fragrance you guys um this is this is white floral this is heliotrope and violet oh my goodness this has also suede and leather so unique uh and it also has um incense so it smells a little bit smoky and the dry down um this is uh, a compliment magnet for sure why because it has a huge silage okay this is has a huge silage uh, very long lasting i'm talking about 12 hours oh my goodness uh when you first spray it uh, it smells so creamy and and so um powdery from all the flowers and then it settles down to a very sensual very delicious uh you know notes of vanilla and a little bit you know uh leathery from the leather and sweet fall and winter uh, also because it's so heavy and um it's also so sweet so uh, it's great to wear during those cold weather very very sophisticated uh, so yeah, this was in my number five spot, uh, Armani Code Cashmere. So now in number four spot, I have one of the best uh, springy summery fragrances that I have uh, in my collection. Um, I have Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. 
uh, this fragrance smells you guys so rosy and so green uh, with that mint note in it uh, it doesn't smell minty like sharp mint no it doesn't it just smells um, you know a little bit green and aquatic you know very fresh and very unique with that uh, vetiver note so it's woody uh, it's also amber in the dry down here it smells so mouse watering oh my God. Um, so yeah very fresh uh, aquatic you know smells like a real a fresh and dewy um, red roses um, oh my God. this also has a spectacular performance amazing longevity I'm talking about 12 hours uh, with this perfume and it's 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 actually uh, so weird because it's a floral uh, fragrance and florals doesn't last that long but this has a great uh, performance great uh, longevity very unique everybody loves it it smells so feminine you guys if you wanna smell like a diva just wear flora botanica because it's that feminine it's that you know it's that classy you know it's like this is a classy floral that i highly highly recommend it especially in this time of the year you're gonna smell you uh, very feminine very you know very sensual very classy also um and as i said it has it, it's it's an expensive perfume but uh, in my opinion it worth every penny because it has a great sillage and it will last you the whole day and the whole night uh so yeah this was in number four, four spot uh, flora botanica by balenciaga so now in number three spot um i have a fragrance a very classy fragrance from one of my most favorite uh houses uh which is narciso rodriguez um and i'm talking about narciso uh the white cube so this fragrance you guys is all about gardenia musk and woods that's it you're not gonna smell anything else it's just a uh, heavy musk heavy uh, gardenia and lots and lots of woods uh, i think it has cedar wood and uh, vetiver you guys um this fragrance uh what's so important about it is um this fragrance only shines uh on cold weather okay so i don't recommend it in you know hot summer or heat summer no don't wear it because um i wore this um in a summer day um and i spray a lot and uh, it was so heavy and i didn't like it to be honest um this is only for um cold weather you guys okay yes. this one of the most classiest masks created oh my goodness it's so unique um if you can imagine how the the color white smells like it smells so milky and and smells so white mixed with lots and lots of woods this is how can i describe this fragrance you guys and it's so powdery also from the gardenia flower it's so unique um what makes it that unique it's um you know smells it doesn't smell like any musk uh, fragrance i have smelled it before um i am a big lover of musk and i have many many musk fragrances in my collection but i would say maybe this is uh, my number one favorite musk fragrance because it's very unique it's very classic uh, but it's also modern at the same time um but as i said um this is uh, only for fall and winter months you're gonna love it so much you guys uh because it has insanely insanely longevity okay i'm talking about maybe 20 hours this lasts on my skin till i shower you know what i mean it's a very very long lasting uh musk uh, and woody fragrance and it just smells milky you know what i mean uh it was love at first sniff um I didn't blame buy this fragrance uh, I've tried it um, in the mall the other day and it was 
immediate love at first sniff you guys um it smells so smooth so milky uh, so creamy so powdery um and i love uh woody fragrances so it's also woody so it just smells heavenly i recommend uh, this fragrance uh, people loves it so much you guys but as i said don't spray a lot okay because this is already intense this is already potent so don't spray a lot uh, maybe three sprays four maximum and um it will last you as i said till the next day uh highly recommend checking out this one and put it in your uh, fall and winter list um because it's that amazing uh so again this is narciso by narciso the Jagus. so now in number two spot i have my favorite perfume of all times and if you know me then you guessed it right you guys um i am talking about alien by mugler um this fragrance smells very uh intoxicating smells very syrupy smells like a confident woman um i always wear it when i feel when i wanna feel confident to face any a rough day or situation you know what i mean uh, i always wear this one because it gives me so much confidence <laughs> um it's that unique it's that um you know elegant and classy and it's very very syrupy very delicious at the same time you guys this also was a love at first sniff for me um, it wasn't a blind buy uh, when I've tried it I was like oh my goodness what is that you know what is that smell I have never smelled something like this before um, yeah to me it smells like this color it smells like purple I don't know why uh, this smells so purpley uh, smells so syrupy uh, so ambery very delicious you guys and um it has a great longevity and so yeah. beautiful uh most of people really love it and um yeah uh, alien mugler um it's always going to be in my collection because it's a masterpiece <laughs> so yeah this was my uh, number two spot so now, a uh, number one most compliment getter fragrance um, is a very heavy oriental floral vanilla scent. Um, it has spectacular uh, longevity and sillage and smells so potent and rich and um, everybody loves it and um, it worth all the hype that it gets here on YouTube. Uh, I'm talking about um, Oud Bouquet by Lancome um, Yes, um, you guys, uh, people love it so much Men love it, women love it, everybody loves it so much you guys Goodness. This is an easy to wear um, Oud fragrance If you're looking for an easy to wear Oud or uh, if you're new to Oud scents and you wanna you know discover how Oud smells like I highly recommend checking uh, Oud bouquet because it's very easy to wear and it's very delicious um, it smells very sensual very captivating very intoxicating very beautiful you guys and again this has amazing amazing um, longevity has a very wide sillage also you're gonna fill the whole room with this scent when you wear it um, and this is, smells also very oriental so if you like those uh, smoky heavy um you know dark oriental scents uh, this is a very great option yeah it smells very sweet very syrupy very, i just love it so much um uh, i don't wear it that much um in the spring and summer to be honest because it's heavy um, and especially in the summer heat it turns very sweet and uh, maybe maybe summer nights um, you know spray very lightly maybe two sprays um, in the summer nights yeah but it's so amazing how it fragrance you guys um, if you're looking for an affordable dupe um, 
check out my uh, comparison video between this and uh, Sharaf Oud with Arabian. Um, I'm going to leave this um, this uh, link uh, in my description box uh, if you want to check it out. So yeah, as I said, this is a powerhouse fragrance that will get you tons and tons of compliments from everyone. So yeah, uh, Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Um, it's my most compliments getter fragrance in my collection um very amazing you guys um i think that's it about today's video um i'm so happy that i did this video with you guys uh, and also with my beautiful friend anna uh, thank you anna again for doing this with me and um i can't wait to see your choices so i can add it <laughs> to my collection uh, so yeah, if you love my choices and my video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much guys for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!